Here I am tuning into this and I am called to review and share with you some particular aspects. One of the first aspects I'd like to get into is where it says this book goes out to the world of matter with the blessing of the world of spirit. I pray that each whom it reaches may have his eyes opened and his soul touched for until the soul is quickened and it is aware of the higher, deeper, nobler and greater things of life. The individual is living in a mist. I do apologize with the lighting and everything. I'm about to just drop and tune into this one particular area that I like. The idea of us going into a deep reviewing. It says... Hold on, let me see where I should begin. I'm, I'm being guided to read up a little bit ahead. I'll just read the whole page, okay? And there's more before this, which is really beautiful. It starts off at the top of this page 26. All ironic, right? It says, But I am always ready to serve and to teach the law, for it is only through an understanding of the laws of the great spirit that the people of the world of matter can live as the great in spirit. Right, right, right. From the top, we messed it up. <laughs> But I am always ready to serve and to teach the law, for it is only through an understanding of the laws of the great spirit that the people of the world of matter can live as the great spirit intended they should live. It is better to see than to be blind. It is better to hear than to be deaf. It is better to be awake than to be asleep. Let them open their souls to the great spirit. Let them strive to attune themselves to the laws of great spirit so that they are at one with him and he is at one with them. Then their hearts and souls will be at peace. They will be in harmony with the great rhythm of the universe and discord will disappear from their lives. They will begin to live as they have never lived before. All knowledge matters. It is not wise to say you will only receive this amount of knowledge and will go no further. I strive to transmit all I know so that you may drink in as much as I have to give to you. I do this not because I am greater than you, not because I am proud of what I possess, but because only by giving can I serve. All knowledge has its place. Do not strive to stop at any rung in the ladder of progress. It is only by imbibing, by striving to get the complete picture, that life will be understood by you. That refers not only to life in its material aspects, but life in its spiritual aspects too. For whilst your world of matter needs guidance in the things of matter, it is also necessary for the knowledge of the spirit to be given at the same time. Our message is always that you are living now in the world of spirit for scratch for it says that the world of matter is but one reflection of an eternal life if only those who know would be faithful to the knowledge how much more could we accomplish if only those who have listened with rah, if only those who have listened to the voice of the spirit and those who have witnessed the operation of spiritual laws and the phenomena that links together the two worlds of life would forget self and rise to the highest heights that they could scale we could achieve a great deal knowledge and service are greater than individuals what we have achieved is little but compared with what can be achieved no limits can be set to the great infinite spirit to the wisdom to the inspiration to the truth that can be showered upon your world there are no restrictions to the mighty power of spirit waiting to fill your world when your instruments can provide the right channels for us to use. And that's the end of the page there. I feel like this sentence here possibly could be phrased and stated better. And I don't mean by what they said, but by my tone and deliverance of the sentence of, if only those who know would be faithful to the knowledge. Personally, that's one of my most favorite lines of the whole segment, aside from... Um, but because only by giving can I serve. Perhaps you'd like to rewind or re-listen to the whole thing. 
or perhaps I should just also restate this complete statement. It goes, if only those who know would be faithful to the knowledge, how much more could we accomplish? If only those who have listened to the voice of the Spirit and those who have witnessed the operation of spiritual laws and the phenomena that links together the two worlds of life would forget self and rise to the highest heights that they could scale, we could achieve a great deal. It's speaking strong and openly about us coming together and being in harmony. As I mentioned many, many, many times in my videos about the importance of us being our own tone or our own vibe. I'll have to get a group of like three people together and all of us singing together so I can kind of show you the different rhythm about chanting and song and sharing space and co-creating together. I believe music is an old ancient way that shares a great language in itself I suppose you could say that allows us to communicate connect and understand and really understand the cause and effect at hand. Aho thanks for listening. Hope on a